everyone. It's Angela Bliss with Andy's Art Asylum. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm going to try a wrecked dustpan pour. Um, I had this gold already mixed for like a week, so I decided I'd use it. Um, it's Glorious Gold by Elegant Finish by Deco Art. I love this gold. Um, my white is the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic in white. And then I have some Master's Touch paints that I've never used before. So we're going to try these. Uh, fluorescent Orange Yellow. Fluorescent Yellow. The Fluorescent Green. And the Fluorescent Pink. Sorry I haven't been on in a little bit. It's been kind of crazy. I've been trying to get uh, my art studio together. So I had to lay floor in one room and then we've got to move stuff out of another room. But right now I'm in the kitchen still. So uh, that will change. So that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. Um, bought me a little dustpan from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to pour the paints in here and uh, wreck it in here and then we're going to slide it on the canvas and see what happens. Never done this before, so should be interesting. I've seen it uh, done by several different people, so it should be fun. So basically... Going to tilt this up a little bit so that it doesn't pour out. I'm going to pour this white down. Oh, there's a piece of something in there. Get that out. And then I'll leave a little bit for my canvas. to get another cup. I'm going to layer these paints in this cup and I'm just going to pour it. Uh, or am I going to... Yeah. So I'm going to layer this cup. I'm going to put some gold at the bottom. And I mix my paints, uh, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and I added a little bit of the Liquitex Gloss Medium to it. Um, Just to make sure I have enough paint. Nope. Getting paint everywhere, guys. I don't use fluorescence much. I think I've used them once, but I've never used this brand, so. Now we're going to take this and I'm just going to. Um, let me do a travel and pour or something just in this. So, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm sure you can. Do that. And then, just figured 
I take this skewer, what do I do with it? Oh. And I'm just going to wreck it like that. And we're just going to pour it on the canvas. See what happens. Okay. Pretty neat. Try to get some out of this so I can put it on the side here. Got a little bit of dip in my in my dustpan. So getting enough around the edges so that when I uh, go to tilt it'll all work out fine. Take my rings off. I forgot my gloves in the other room. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to torch this. going to bring it up this way. Get some more white just to make sure I got enough. Seems like it's having a difficult time. It was super fun, guys. Super fun. It's pretty. Way different. So let's go this way first. Maybe my paint was a little too thick. Don't know.
Okay, guys, first one's down. Um, looks like it's a pretty awesome little technique. Kind of like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I appreciate you guys, and I'm going to probably torch it a little more, and uh, I will be back to show you guys the dried results. I love it. It's awesome. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is dry. It's the uh, the marble roll with the orange and the golds. Pretty amazing. Turned out really cool. Dried pretty cool. Like the edges. I'm definitely going to try and give the marble another goal. Um, it's a lot of fun. Let's stop moving it so that the light can pick it up. Um, there we go. It's definitely uh, a fun technique. So um, you guys let me know what you want to see, what colors you want to see, what you want me to do, and uh, be on the lookout for more exciting pours and videos from me. I appreciate you guys being here, and I will talk to you soon.